In this video, we will convert this Potensic T25 video streaming drone into a cargo drone. So the concept of one of my drones carrying around household objects has always been kind of in my mind, so I finally wanted to make it happen. To start, I took a piece of cardboard and turned it into a little basket large enough for small objects, like Legos. I then made four strings with binder clips at the end of them to hang off of the drone. I predicted that the drone would lift the basket with the strings attached, and it did so easily. So then, I decided to put one of the toy wheels into the basket to see if it could handle the weight. But to my surprise, the drone actually had difficulty getting the basket off the ground. I was like, huh, okay, maybe the automatic gyro stabilization system or something is interfering with the maximum power of the drone. To combat this, I took the strings off of the basket and taped the basket directly onto the drone. The drone again flew easily without the cargo, but with the wheel, the drone had difficulty. This was a huge problem because future projects I had thought of depended on the drone being able to lift objects. I decided that I needed to lessen the overall weight of the drone, and the only viable way of doing that was to get rid of the camera. But what? The wires from the camera seemed inseparable from the drone. For whatever reason, I opened up the drone and tried to look for a safe way to detach the camera wires from the main part of the drone. But the wires were just too deep and I wasn't going to risk damaging the drone. So after that, I decided that I would just get rid of the camera by any means necessary. And this happened, and... My god, why didn't I do this all along? So after that, I reattached the legs and basket and started up the drone again. But then this happened. Luckily, the drone was still able to fly, but I feared this would be a problem that would worsen with time. Upon further investigation, I determined that the propeller was more tense than the other ones because the case covering the motor was interfering with the gears. So I unscrewed the motor case and rescrewed the motor case back on, which seemed to fix the problem. After that, I reattached the legs on the basket, and the drone was finally able to lift the wheel. I'm really glad this worked out in the end because we will be doing some cool experiments with this drone in the future. Thank <laughs> you.